Quite often in Revit, you'll want to bring in existing data or information that you've got to use as a template to start creating your design on top of. So typically you'll bring in a DWG or a DXF file and use that as a basis to trace over. But you can also bring in PDF documents and now in Revit 2021, you can actually snap to the vector data contained within those PDFs. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do that. So if I just come out of Revit for a second, I'm just going to swap to show you this sample PDF document that I've created. So I've kept this document very simple on purpose just to make it easier to show you the underlying concept. So this could be, in reality, um, a, a diagram of a proposed building that uh, someone else has produced and made a PDF of it. Could be a site plan, I suppose. Uh, doesn't really matter what it is. The fact is it's in a PDF format and it contains some vector data uh, that you want to use to trace over in your um, development of your, your Revit model. So let's just pretend that this is the outline of the building that we want to produce in Revit. Okay, let's switch back to Revit. So if we go to the insert menu, import PDF, there is the sample document we've just seen. Select it, open, you get the import PDF uh, dialog box that comes up a little preview of the document, uh, select the resolution you want. Uh, so I'm just going to leave all this as it is, hit OK, and place the document into this plan view. Now you can rescale it. Um, hopefully you've got some sort of sense of scale on the documents you're bringing in, something so you can actually scale this to, to get it the right size before you start tracing over. So if I want to now build walls on top of this, if I go to architecture and wall, um, location line, finish face exterior. So we're going to go around. You can see at the moment Revit does not detect these lines. So what you need to do, I'm just going to cancel out of that. And this is the important step. Once you've brought this PDF in, select it and look at the properties for the PDF import and down here the last entry here in the dimensions group is enable snaps put that on now go back to walls and notice how when you hover over Revit is now detecting the vector data ie the lines contained in the PDF document so I can now use those to snap to all the normal snaps will work, so endpoints, intersections, midpoints, etc. I can also use the pick lines tool and just put the walls in in one go by clicking on the lines.